From the CNN Money Newsroom in New York, I'm Ali Velshi, and this is Your Money. First up, something that will affect almost none of you out there and therefore should be completely unimportant to you, the Powerball Lottery. I'm trying to focus your attention on the important things going on out there, and you are busy rushing out to buy lottery tickets. You get what the chances of winning are, right? Statistics, schmatistics? Well, right now, it's fascinating how that it's $550 million, people are rushing out because a really bad chance of winning $335 million wasn't enough to make you part with your $2, but for $550 million, you'll take a flyer. I get it. Now let's talk about something that will affect your future. We're 34 days off from the beginning of the fiscal cliff. Today, both Republicans and Democrats met with business leaders to gauge and garner support for a budget deal that is likely to include tax hikes on the wealthy and could include some sort of spending cuts, all with an aim to cutting the deficit. I couldn't really tell you what happened at those meetings because I wasn't there. So let's talk to somebody who was. Tom Wilson is the president and CEO of Allstate Insurance. Tom, thank you for joining us. Uh, what happened in the meetings? Well, it's good to be here, Allie. Uh, I think what happened in the meetings is we got a sense that there needs to be more progress made quickly because while everybody agrees something needs to be done, really the structure to get it done is still not formed up yet. Did you get some sense that they are moving towards some kind of an agreement, both sides? Uh, I got the con uh, my con I am concerned as to where we're at. Let me tell you the good news. The good news is everybody sees this as an opportunity to show that America knows how to act and get their fiscal house in order. Everybody wants to make a deal. Everybody agrees it should be four trillion dollars, and everybody agrees there's three buckets. Bucket one is reform entitlements. Bucket two is raise revenue. Bucket three is reduce spending. So everybody agrees on all those things. The bad news is, is that nobody agrees yet on how much goes into each bucket. Right. And there's, there's really a, an absence of what do we do now in terms of our down payment, and then how do we sort this out next year. And then lastly, they're both waiting for the other party to lead. Tom, there's a sense that uh, the president was going to put pressure on big businesses who have largely in the last electoral cycle supported uh, Republicans and, and Mitt Romney to say, why don't you put pressure on, on uh, Republican lawmakers? On the other side, there are things that the business community needs uh, out of this deal. Who's putting pressure on who in these meetings? I think the pressure is on both parties, uh, both the Democrats and Republicans. We met today with the uh, Senate uh, Democrats, and we met with the House Republicans. We also met with the White House uh, economic team yesterday. And we've said to all of them, this needs to be fixed. It needs to be fixed because it's good for the economy and our businesses. It needs to be fixed because it's good for our employees. And if it's not fixed, the people that are going to get hurt the worst are the poor and the elderly. A recession has some impact on wealthy people because their net worth goes down. But the people who get permanently set back are the poor and the elderly, and yep. if we go over this cliff, it will be bad for them. Obviously, the big discussion, uh, you describe them as buckets, but they all come down in some way to taxes, whether they go up or they go down. Uh, we know that a deal will probably raise taxes on at least some people. Uh, what's the sense from the business community as to what they want or don't want to see with respect to the income tax uh, situation? I, I think the fix the debt community, which is we have about 100 CEOs, which is, is widely supported across country. 300,000 people have signed up to support us, is that revenues need to go up. At the same time, we need to be very clear that entitlements need to be reformed and we need to reduce spending. And the issue today on taxes, it's all about, it, it really is not the main stage as to whether it's deductions or the rate. The main stage is how much in each of those three buckets. Whether it's a rate increase or it's uh, deductions, that could be worked out later. But right now, we need to focus on getting the amount of money in each of those buckets so we get to $4 trillion. Tom, did you buy a Powerball ticket? No, but I'm thinking about it after watching the show. $550 million is a lot of money. It's a lot. It goes a long way. Tom, good to see you. Thanks very much. Tom Wilson Thank you. is the president and CEO of Allstate. Hey, today's installment of What Could Cost You More is gasoline. There's a real proposal out there to almost double the 18 and a half cent per gallon federal tax on gasoline. The federal gas tax funds about $32 billion in repairs to roads, bridges, and transport. By the way, the feds kick in another $18 billion or so every year because our transportation infrastructure is in rough shape. Raising the gas tax an additional 15 cents a gallon will cover that shortfall, but clearly... It's not just the rich who drive. That is what you need to know right now. For those of you who don't win the Powerball tonight, I'll be back at this time tomorrow with the most important five minutes about business and the economy. Unless, of course, I win the Powerball, in which case I most certainly won't be returning to work. From the CNN Money Newsroom in New York, I'm Ali Velshi with your Money Daily.